Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into 10 powerful and underrated features of Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra running One UI 7. So whether you're a seasoned Samsung user or you just got your hands on this beast, these tips and tricks will take your experience to the next level. So let's jump right into it. Feature number one is where you can connect two Bluetooth devices to your S25 Ultra. So One UI 7 allows you to connect two Bluetooth devices simultaneously, such as a headphones or a speaker. So you and your friend can listen to the same music, or you can connect a speaker or an earbuds at once with dual sound output. Perfect for sharing without compromise. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first connect our first Bluetooth device. So just go ahead and open it. Go ahead and open up your quick panel menu. Go ahead and, and tap on Bluetooth. Now, as you can see, this is already connected. Now, if you want to connect the second one, Go ahead and open that as well. Now go ahead and scroll down and find your Bluetooth device. Just give it a few minutes. As you can see, it's already found it. Let's go ahead and tap on connect. So go ahead and follow the instructions. Press the um, pairing button. And now it'll start to pair. And as you can see, it's already paired. Now, if you go back to your Bluetooth menu, you'll see both of these devices are now connected. So you have this connected and you have this connected as well. Feature number two is where you can share media from your Samsung to your iPhone. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use quick share feature where you can easily share photos, videos, and even large files from your S25 Ultra to an iPhone or any other Android phone. So this can be done with a web link or a QR code. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the gallery. Next, we'll go ahead and just open up a picture which you wanna share. So for example, this one here. So to share this photo here, I'll go ahead and tap on share. Now at the bottom here, I'll see the quick share option, which is right here. Go ahead and tap on this. Now when I do this, I'll get this option here, QR code or link. So I can go ahead and tap on this. This will now give me a QR code where I can go ahead and scan it using my iPhone or my Android phone. And this will basically give me a link to download. If I don't have a QR code scanner, I can go ahead and use this link where I can just copy the link. I can go ahead and copy this link into a message and send it to anyone who I want to share this photo with. And that person can go ahead and visit this link and he or she will be able to download the photo. So say goodbye to cross-platform sharing headaches, smooth and fast sharing with friends, no matter what phone they use. So sharing just got smarter, no more green bubbles required. Feature number three is where you can turn off the shutter sound through modes and routine. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, when you open up the camera app and when you take a picture, as you know, the shutter button is switched on. So as you know, if you want to mute the shutter sound, you need to go ahead and open up your volume control and you need to mute all that in order to lower the volume of your shutter. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, in mode and routine, you can basically set up a routine to automatically mute the shutter sound when you're in the app. And this is great for specific scenarios like library or quiet environments. So let me show you how to do this. So first you want to go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Scroll down and find modes and routine. Now you're gonna go ahead and tap on routine and then tap on the plus sign. Now here you wanna go ahead and put the if and then statement. So if, so let's just say when we open up the cap or let's find the app. So when app is opened, so it'll tell you which app. Let's just go ahead and find the camera app, done. Press okay. So when the camera app is open, then We'll go ahead and put the sound. Sound and volume, so media volume. Now here we'll go ahead and make sure everything is mute. Go done. And then we'll tap save. We'll give it a name, give it a color, give it an icon, tap done. And now that routine is enabled. So now, as you can see, our volume is on full. Now, when we open up the camera app and we take a picture, you'll see that the shutter sound is now quiet. 
when we go back as you can see our volume is still on full so you can capture photos silently when you need to stay discreet like in an event museum or around sleeping kids so perfect stealth shots are just a tap away feature number four is where you can disable unlock with biometrics using mode and routine so on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can create a mode that disables biometric unlock when you're at a certain location or during bedtime. So this is really useful when you're at your friend's house or maybe at a hostel or maybe at an accommodation where people basically play prank on you. So where they can basically take your phone and maybe use your finger while you're sleeping to unlock your phone and maybe play around with your phone or maybe they can use your face to unlock your phone. So if you want to disable this biometrics, where it can only be unlocked using a pin and that pin no one knows only you know so let me show you how to disable unlock with biometrics on your samsung s25 ultra so here we'll go ahead and open up the quick panel menu tap on settings we're going to go ahead and scroll down and find modes and routine then we'll tap on routines then we'll tap on the plus sign and here we want to go ahead and add the if and the then statement so now with the if we'll go ahead and add a location and we'll add a time. So we'll go ahead and tap on if, we'll go ahead and tap on location, so place. Let's just put down this location here, done. And then we'll go ahead and add a condition. Here we'll go ahead and add a specific time or a time period actually. Let's just say you're in a, your student accommodation between between 9 a.m. and till 7, 8.43. Have done. So as you can see, this is the if statement. So if you are at this place between this time here, then this will trigger. So we'll go ahead and tap on the then statement. We'll go ahead and find biometrics. Uh, unlock with biometrics, tap on this. And here we wanna go ahead and disable fingerprint and face. So disable both of them and then we'll go ahead and tap on done then we'll tap on save we'll go ahead and verify our identity we'll go ahead and put an arrival location choose the color and the icon press done and then press home so now when we are at this location here example this one here so if i unlock it as you can see now face unlock has been disabled and the biometrics four finger has been disabled you can only unlock this phone using the pin. So as you can see, no one can play pranks on you as they cannot unlock your phone. They will need a pin in order to unlock your phone. So this enhances security or reduces accidental unlocks, especially helpful at home or even when kids get curious with your phone. So you have more control over your security just the way you like it. Feature number five is where you can see the real time FPS on your S25 Ultra. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can enable a built-in FPS monitor for game booster or developer option to see real-time frame rates on the games you play. So let me show you how to do this. So here first, you go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down all the way until you see about. From here, tap on software information. And here, go ahead and find the bill number. Here, go ahead and tap multiple times until you see a menu where it says developer mode has been enabled. Now you want to go back and then this new option will appear here, developer option. Tap on this. Now you want to turn this feature on and then scroll down and find GPU watch. So this will be under hardware accelerated rendering. So find this, tap on it, turn this feature on and here you want to go ahead and find FPS. So we'll go ahead and remove this. So here, this will show you your current FPS. So now go ahead and tap on home. And now as you can see, you have your current FPS. So let's just say if you're playing a game, you'll see your current FPS. So it's currently right now at 60. So this is great for gamers, performance testers. You can monitor how smooth your gameplay or UI really is. Feature number six is where you can see the real-time CPU load on your S25 Ultra. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can access a CPU monitor via the developer option to watch real-time CPU activity on your screen. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings. 
you want to go ahead and scroll down and find about phone next scroll down and find software information now from here go ahead and find build number and tap multiple times on it you'll see a message here developer mode has been enabled go back and now you'll find this new option called developer mode or developer option tap on it now you want to go ahead and scroll down and within hardware accelerated rendering section, you want to find GPU watch, tap on it. Now here you want to go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on the plus sign, then tap on custom widgets and find CPU overall load. Turn this feature on, tap done, and then press home. Now at the top left here, you'll see a graph, which will show you your CPU load. So this helps you identify app drainers and understand performance under different usage loads. So you can go ahead and open up any app and you'll see your CPU load spike up or spike down and you can see which app is actually taking the most CPU load. So this basically helps you keep an eye on your phone's brain. Feature number seven is where you can save mobile data and battery while sleeping. So on your Samsung S24 Ultra, you can set a custom sleep routine that disables mobile data, turns off background apps and dims brightness at bedtime. So let me show you how to do this. So here you want to go ahead and first open up your quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find modes and routine. Now from here you can go and find the sleep mode. If you tap on this, this will now show you what actions it will take. So here you can go ahead and configure when you want it to sleep. So the sleep schedule has been set into between 12 midnight to half nine every day between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Next you can choose what the mode does. So you can choose the do not disturb. You can restrict the app usage. If you go down below here, this will, these are the other actions which you'll take. So dark mode will be turned on. Eye comfort sheet will be turned to adaptive and sound mode will be turned to sound. However, you can go ahead and change any of these, whichever you like. Now, in addition to this, you wanna go ahead and tap on the power saving mode. So this will basically save your battery as well while you're sleeping. In other actions, you can go ahead and tap on add action and you can go ahead and turn off mobile data. So as you can see, this turns off mobile data, press done, press okay. And now, as you can see, you've got power saving mode on and mobile data has been turned off. So now once you're ready, you can go ahead and turn this feature on. And now dark mode has been turned on. So this is where I'm turning on manually. So this basically extends your battery life and avoids unnecessary data use while you're asleep. Smarter usage means small, longer performance. Feature number eight is where you can enter auto silent mode when you reach a specific location. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use mode and routine to trigger a silent mode when you reach places like work, school, or maybe a library. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here we want to go ahead and first bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, Scroll down and find modes and routine. Now from here, you'll find routines. And then we'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign. So now this is where we're gonna set the if statement and the then statement. So we'll go ahead and tap on if. So here we'll go ahead and search for places. So when we reach a specific place, so here we'll go ahead and set a place. So for example, let's just put down, when I reach this place here, and now here you can go ahead and set the radius. So I need to be within 100 meter, 150, 200 meter, 300. And this is when I arrive there. You can even add if you are connected to a specific network. So this is great if you're connected to your office network or maybe your home network. So you can basically tell it that, you know, if my phone connects to this network, then this condition must be met. So now once you're happy with that, tap done. And then now we'll go ahead and tap on the then statement. Now here we want to go ahead and mute the volume. So we'll go ahead and find sound, sound and volume, sound mode and volume. And here we want to go ahead and find the mute. So set that as mute, press done. And then now here, as it reads, when you arrive to this location here, your phone will automatically go into the mute mode where everything will be quiet. So once you're happy, tap save, give it a name, Go choose a color and icon for it and then press done. So here, once you arrive at a location, your phone will automatically go in silent mode. So no more embarrassing loud notifications, quiet places. Your phone will adapt to your environment. Feature number nine is where you can turn on the shutter button. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, if you have noticed, if you open up the camera app and you take a picture, unfortunately, no shutter sound 
is heard. You check your volume. As you can see, it's all set to 100% and you expect the shutter sound to be heard when you tap on the shutter sound and it's not heard. So let me show you how to fix this issue. So here in the camera app, you want to go ahead and find the motion picture here, which is right here at the top right. So this is the square with a play button. This is where it captures one second before your photo and one second after your photo. So if you tap on this and turn it off, now when you take a picture, you'll hear the shutter sound. So this is useful when you want audible feedback during shooting like an event or outdoor shoot. If you want to turn it off, you can go ahead and turn on the motion photo and this will turn off the shutter sound. And lastly, feature number 10 is where you can auto enable do not disturb when watching YouTube or TikTok. So if you're really into your social media apps like TikTok or YouTube and you don't want to be disturbed, then let me show you how you can turn on a feature where it basically goes into do not disturb mode when you open up these social media apps. So here first you want to go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you want to scroll down and find modes and routine. From here find routine and then we'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign. So here we'll go ahead and set an if statement and then a then statement. So we'll go to tap on if first. So here we'll go ahead and find open app when our app is opened. So first we'll go ahead and set something for TikTok. Now we'll find YouTube as well. So now if TikTok or YouTube is open, then we'll go then, and then here we'll find do not disturb. So we'll make sure that's switched on and then we'll save it. Give it a name, your color and your icons and then press done. So now as you can see at the top, do not disturb is not switched on. We'll go ahead and open up TikTok. And once TikTok is open, do not disturb sign has been turned on. So now no calls or no messages will appear and disturb you. So you can enjoy uninterrupted video time. No more pings, no calls, just your videos which you're watching. And there you have it, 10 awesome features of Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and One UI 7 that you should start using right now. If you learned something new today, hit that like button, drop a comment below with your favorite feature, and don't forget to subscribe for more Samsung tips, tricks, and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.